Hi guys, Knife Detector here again. And if you're watching this video, you just might have seen the previous video I made yesterday about my weekend family outing in San Antonio. Uh, it was a wonderful trip, guys. Uh, I had a lot of fun with my wife and daughters. You can see in the video. Uh, we went to a petting zoo slash pumpkin patch. We also went to the SoFlo Market in San Antonio, uh, I believe which is only open once a month. And um, today, which is Sunday, we also went to Bussy's Flea Market. And in Bussy's Flea Market, what we did is we... We looked around, but primarily it was for me because I love going to that flea market. It seems like every other vendor has vintage knives in that flea market. Every time I go there, it seems like I just don't have enough money to buy what I want to buy because there's just so much stuff to be seen and bought. Uh, vintage knives of all kinds, vintage tools, everything you could possibly want. So I'm going to make another video next week and I'm going to go ahead and start uh, showing you the three knives that I bought at Bussy's today. But I'm going to turn that into three separate videos. Uh, they're pretty pretty cool knives, guys. Uh, I think it merits enough that I'm going to make it into three different videos. Uh, these knives that I bought, they're not, uh, they're not very common. So because they're not very common, I'm going to go ahead and divide it up into three videos. And I'm going to make the first one of those sometime next week. And uh, like I tell you, if you ever get a chance to go to San Antonio on a Saturday or Sunday, it's uh, outside of San Antonio, headed towards San Marcos. Uh, Bussy's Flea Market is the name of it. But let me show you what I got at the SoFlo Market, which is uh, that market that we went to. It has a lot of arts and crafts. A lot of uh, artisans selling their things, uh, paintings, jewelry, leather craft, and woodcraft. So that brings me to this. We're going to go ahead and start with the first item I'm going to show you, uh, which is this awesome hammer. So check out this hammer, guys. Check out the woodwork. Those of you that like uh, making wood and are interested, or making things out of wood, excuse me, and are interested in wood crafting, check out the craftsmanship ship on this. Now, you might ask yourself, how much did I pay for something like this? This is a solid hammer. You know, uh, it's a solid hammer. I think it might be oak, the wood that was used. Um, I plan on using this to uh, as a tool whenever I work on my leather crafts. That's what I plan on using it for. But this can also be used, uh, if you're woodworking, uh, to hammer in some wooden dowels or other things that you need. It may even be used for uh, tenderizing meat if you want to. Uh, this is a pretty solid hammer. Check out this chunk of wood that they use for the head here. And uh, the artisan who made this, and you can see from the previous video I made, that he's very talented. He also makes bowls, spoons, uh, cubatons, um, tire thumpers. He makes all sort of cool stuff. But this is him, Tyrannus Craftsworks. And then you have the website right there, TyrannusCraftsworks.com. And there's a phone number right there, too. And he was telling me that he had made these uh, hammers for... I believe it was a renaissance fair, uh, but not all of them were sold or the person who placed the order just didn't like all of them. So guess how much I paid for this really cool tool, guys? Handmade wooden hammer. I paid $10 for this. $10 for this. And I think for the amount of work that went into this, I think that's an amazing deal. It's pretty solid. And... Uh, you can tell you can you can actually use this as a functional uh, woodworking hammer or for leather craft. Uh, this would work just fine. It's a good hammer. I do plan on using it for my leather crafting. So just uh, to show you that business card again, Tyrannus Craftwork, and his name is Kurt Lorenz. So if you want some quality wood products, check out my previous video, and you might see something you like. But uh, Real nice guy. Real nice guy. Uh, couldn't ask for much better. That's one of the items I bought there at uh, at the SoFlo Market. But that's not all I bought there. 
check this out. There's a gentleman selling these sausage sticks. I didn't get his contact information, but he did give me a free sample of one of these. And this was five bucks for this. And if you guys buy jerky or beef sticks, you know it's not cheap. So five bucks for this, I'm gonna enjoy that, guys. So this is just beef and uh you know it's delicious he put all the proper spices in there i had a sample and i think this is the spicy kind because i like my things spicy so it was absolutely delicious there are so many food vendors there pastry chefs all kinds of things there now check this out now i've also already told you about b and k leatherworks and in my previous video that I did yesterday, I showed you some leather items that were being made or made by B&K. And I showed you what their booth looked like at the SoFlo market. Now, the gentleman that makes all of these wonderful leather products, he gave me a great deal on this one. And I'm really appreciative. Check this out. Uh, see the embossed snake there? That kind of reminds me of the Karate Kid Cobra Kai, right? That's pretty awesome right there. But check this out. What do you think this is, guys? Those of you that are into firearms probably know what this is. This is a magazine holder. So you clip this on your belt and you put the magazine in there. If you're going to go to the range or you're uh, an on-duty police officer or something like that, this is what you'd use. And this would fit a clip, probably for a 1911 model pistol, right? Um, but I saw it and I said, you know what? I think this would fit... A knife I have perfectly. Now what this is, is a Sezo Imai Lumberjack. And I think they call it a Lumberjack because of this. Check this out. Doesn't that look like an axe head? A double bladed axe head? This is a knife from the 1970s. And it's by a company called uh, Edgemark. And it's a Japanese company. Uh, they used to make knives for Gutman. And this particular knife, this particular knife, it was made in Seki, Japan. And it was made by the maker Seizo Imai. I think it was a collaboration. And this was a survivor. When I bought this, I found it on eBay. They said that they had found it in a factory. And basically, uh, it was unused stock. So check out that beautiful wood, guys lovely wood check out that glistening on that wood this was new this was kind of had like a purple hue on it when i first took it out of that that uh, nylon sheath that i since tossed because it really was no good it was a cheap nylon sheath that i think they just threw in and uh but I, I give it a little bit of cleaning on the brass it's beautiful check out the blade good snap lumberjack right edge mark 440 stainless steel Japan edge mark I think that's 11 318 but I'm not a hundred percent lumberjack nice looking blade very sharp beautiful wood scales on this and I told him you know what I think that I have a knife that would fit that after I picked this up he said you know what that is that's for magazines and I was like yes I know but I think my knife would fit that just perfectly. And he said, let me see. And I handed him my knife. And sure enough, he just stuck it in. And yeah. Guess how much he charged me for this, guys. Guess how much he charged me for this sheath. 20 bucks for this sheath. Now, this is a $40, $50 sheath all day long, guys. And I think it just goes perfectly with this knife. And he sold it to me for 20 bucks. What a great guy, right? B&K, handmade goods, right? And, you know, you need to go ahead and check these guys out. You know, they do some quality work, as you can see in the video I made yesterday. When you get a chance, check them out. I also stopped at a, at a garage sale. And I scored this magazine, double magazine pouch, uh, tactical style, military style, um, Guess how much I paid for that? Brand new, guys. Brand new. Two bucks. Two bucks. So, needless to say, I had an awesome time this weekend. I had some pretty good scores. And I just wanted to go ahead and let you know that there are scores to be had out there, guys. If you go to San Antonio, go to the SoFlo Market. Go to Bussy's Flea Market. I haven't shown you the awesome knives I bought there, but I was just cleaning them an hour ago and sharpening them up, just giving them a little honing. And I'm going to make uh, three separate videos on those knives that I bought. So check them out. If you're new to my channel, 
Uh, please like and subscribe. You'd be helping me immensely. I want to thank all of my current subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching my videos. Uh, thank you very much for for uh, all my likes and for the shares that you do on my videos. Appreciate that very much. And if you're new to my channel, I like to do videos on knives mostly that are rare and unseen, usually vintage knives, but not always. If I find a knife that's modern and unique, I make a video on that as well. So until then, this is Knife Detector signing off saying, enjoy the rest of your work week, guys. Uh, this is Sunday night, and God bless you, my friends.